Right, YouTube, don't know if we're getting any of this. Um, a bit late, it's quarter to 11. I was supposed to be here 15 minutes ago, but I got stuck behind every idiot and his friend on the road this morning doing 25 and a 50 zone. Uh, we're a couple of minutes away from Golf Bravo 3 Juliet Bravo. From what I remember, uh, the petrol station falls on the other side of the road, and immediately after that, there's a left hand turn which takes me down something road. Um, I think it's this one, we'll take it and see what happens. No idea where we are, never been here before. Well, wow, that's a fucking tight old bend. And possibly the wrong turn. Just that I got an email. I was gonna keep going then, but I got an email someone saying left straight after the uh what's it? After the petrol station. Um yeah, right, well no signs, so I don't actually know the name of any of these roads. Upton Milton. It wasn't that far down the road, so I'm going to get down here. I think it's road parallel to me. Uh, double check the old Google Earth. Because I think that left hand turn I just took was too early. No, like a pig's tail. Too early? Too early? Ah, uh, you miss all the bastards. Right, we're up with a field. Trees. No, we've got nothing down here. But uh, I use sat nav on my phone, because I like multi-purpose objects. No, my phone does a lot of things, it's handy for me. And now, I've turned off Google Maps. Clue where I'm going. All I know is I don't think it's down there. There's some geezer standing over the track door. So we'll leave this one. Head back up. Oh, it's flash speed. Probably take the other left. The car indicated to turn left while I was coming out, and he flashed me to let me out. The fucking idiot behind him just overtook him. Um, so this is interesting. Yeah, we're 15 minutes late now. I can't miss the repeater station, apparently. You can see it on Google Earth. As I said, I ain't got a clue where I am. I've never been here before in my life. I'm just going to keep driving. I filled up with petrol before I left the house and I think I might fucking need it. But, right. At least I know there's another garage here. Been on the road 45 minutes. Uh, Twain now said it would be half hour. So I'm tempted to go down there. Just because it looks like I'm the direction I need to go. Road goes down, so we'll go down and back up to where I need to be. Oh, uh, diddly do. We'll just keep heading this way through. And I'm going to take a left here. Unsuitable for long vehicles. Tiny Picasso. And that car we overtook earlier, he's on my arse now. No idea where we are. And, oh, there it is. Whoa, can't miss that. Fuck a dog. I ain't got the mast stop yet, but the antenna's huge. Cut the cars there, and there's a silo. So you can spot the silo a mile away. Right, we'll just pull it in now. I think this is the entrance. Yeah. Oh, the wall here. Oh my god. They've all got the same antenna as me. This is so embarrassing.
I'll just I'll be absolutely gutted if I can't reach it from my house. I'm, I'm pretty sure I will. <laughs> It'll be ironic if that hill over there is in the way. So there was a big mound there, distributed all over. Here. Absolutely covered in it, up to my eyes and ears. Uh, just left now. There's about six of us, I think. Um, all ages. A uh, couple of old retired boys there. Just close the window so we can hear. And uh, it was mainly chalk soaking wet heavy and rock there was no soil at all so i used the uh, little folding trench shovel i've done a job no idea how to get out of here should have used the swat nav can i go right yes i can um back on the ninth for the mast actually going up um, didn't do any videos in the station of like the mast and all the electrics and battery and the solar and that obviously for security reasons this is a shitty road Yeah, I'm going to give out the location or the equipment they've got. But they've got basically a big metal cabinet full of batteries and a big seven foot tall metal cabinet with the radios and natural repeater equipment and stuff in there. Uh, massive, I think it's a 50 foot mast, two sections. Uh, with our antennas to go on that. Uh, you saw the old antenna, I think, on the clip, a bit bent over. Um, so yeah, it's going to look all good. Right, anyway, I'm going to uh, get on with the driving because this road's busy and I need to find my junction because uh, I'm not a local boy. And uh, I'll probably get back to you when I get somewhere a bit safer than where I am now. Although I'm only talking to myself, I still want to concentrate. It's still very windy. The car's getting beaten about. But I'm absolutely caked in it. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that stuff's certainly he heavy when it's wet. But all going well. Uh, repeat will be active again very soon. Do I have to turn off here? Shaftesbury, warming stuff. I think I should have done. Right. Um, catch you soon. I'm going to um, turn around because I think I've missed my turn off. Right, I'm back in the land off I know where I am. Just coming through Westbury now in Wilkeshire. Wilkeshire. Um, managed to shift all that uh, chalk as you saw in the video, uh, the previous clip. Um, you'll see where it's all dispersed and scattered around. But uh, to the right of the building, it, it was literally where they. Oh, I'm going left. Where they uh, obviously put the concrete foundation is. There was a big pile there, about three foot tall, four foot tall, and about five metres in diameter. Massive amounts of chalk and, um, and rock, boulders and stuff. So you can't you can't get a shovel in there. Uh, the, the boulders are just too big. Uh, it, was, uh, it was pickaxes and spades only. Um, so my pickaxe stroke spade from Asda, like a fiver, worked fantastic today. Perfect bit of kit for. The, the job in hand. Um, not much more really to say really. Um, half of me looks like a good station. 
Uh, thanks to everyone that supported it over the past few years. Uh, it's been people donate money, items, and time. So I haven't got the items to donate. Uh, I've got the money to donate. It'll be donated to my shack first. As I need, you know, myself, I need bigger batteries, a bigger panel. Uh, I need, need more radios first. But uh, yeah, that's uh, definitely um, going to be having a lot of my time down there. Any, any labour they need, I'll be straight down there. Half hour drive, hour round trip. Um, definitely donating my time there. If I've got any spare pennies, you know, just drop it in PayPal. GB3 JB. Uh, it's going to be a nice repeater. Um, going by you know, the tour of the equipment today. There's been no noise. They've got like I know, three times the amount of the equipment they don't need to get rid of noise. So it should all be running really, really well. Good coverage, 1000 feet ASL. <coughs> but as I said, I'll be gutted if I can't access that repeater. Absolutely gutted. Um, but there is, you know, I think Salisbury Plain might be in the way. So if Salisbury Plain is in the way, I'll be going back up with a spade and moving that as well. Right, I'm going to get going because I'll be home in 10 minutes. And there's nothing else to talk about really. Uh, apart from thanking everyone else that turned up today. There's a couple of Davids there. Um, the only course I I can remember was G6 POW because I've met him a couple of times. I was going to give me a lift today, but I couldn't get onto QRZ to get his email address. QRZ won't let me on for some reason. I've got a profile, but it won't let me actually have an account, so I couldn't find out his uh, email address. And I did want to chase it down and contact other members of the club. Uh, found directions, could get down here today. Just I could really, really annoyed that I couldn't spend more time down here. But you know, the Everast got an annual blood test. And that's a bit more important, but I'd love to have spent another couple of hours there just to finish leveling it off and make a start on other things. Um, the antenna, the master second hand, and uh, there's a couple of tiny bits that have bent, but nothing major. They were trying to straighten them up and reinforce them, so I might be having to bash at that soon. Uh, right, well, 73s are from Mike Six and Charlie Tango Papa, uh, somewhere in Wiltshire. Approaching, approaching Trowbridge. So it's got to work out now if I'm going to go through Trowbridge or go around Trowbridge. I don't like going through it. Uh, I might go around it. And then I'll be back at my QTH. Going to get cleaned up. I don't think I'll be allowed in the house the way I am. I'm caked in it. And everything in the boot is caked in it as well. It took some heavy, heavy boxes, plastic boxes and heavy duty handles to shift it about and uh, after like the first hour or two I started putting less in there, they were like three quarters full and <laughs> they were getting heavier. The less I put in there, it rained twice, so two times we had to dive into the bar for a bit of cover from the rain, only for like ten minutes, but of course that just meant everything we were shoveling getting wetter and wetter. So it's not, not nice shoveling wet stuff. Um, but again, it was like 11 degrees going by the Met Office today. I'd rather be doing that sort of labour in 11 degrees than like 22 degrees. So it's the right time of year to be, to be doing digging for the heat, heat wise. Not so good for the rain. Um, so yeah, 73s to everyone. And hopefully we'll catch you on the uh, JB uh, in a few weeks when it's all up and running. Um, hopefully before Christmas. Um, catch you later.